I wanted to make this video updating you guys on my trades and my previous trades. Yesterday I made a video saying that I was in MRNA. I was uh I bought contracts, I bought puts around this area right here. Um and I got out around this area. If I would have held a little bit longer, I would have made twice as much profit at least. Um, so that's the good thing about options. Um, it gives you time to be right. Every single contract has an expiration date, and that means that you have up until that date to be right in your trade. And so ideally, I, I probably should have waited only because I did anticipate that it would go back to these levels, which it did. It's right here, and it might bounce back up midpoint up to this resistance right here like bounce right here but I wanted to get in other trades as well and I wanted to free up some capital so um, yeah I could have what I should have waited a little bit longer made double the profit so that's mRNA uh, I was I was very bearish on it um, typically whenever it goes up and makes a big move whoops you see like right here it would just drop back down right here drop back down so I was bearish on it so that is one thing that I wanted to show you guys. Also, Facebook. I took a trade on this. I made like about a hundred bucks. I got out. Let's see where I got in. I got in around right here, this area. And I got out around like this area, 238. And if I would have held one more day, as you see right now, it went down to 233. So I would have made a lot more money. It just goes to show you guys how being patient pays in the end. So this is typically um, in anticipation of earnings play. And so I, I love trading these type of plays and where it goes up in anticipation of good earnings. And then typically when the earnings come out, even if they were good, the stock's going to fall down just because it already made its move for the good earnings. So, and also you see a lot of resistance here. It's 1.2345. 4, you see these tails, right? That indicate a bearish signal right here. Right right here, that's a tail that indicates a reversal and you see it fell. So, yeah, could have would have should have held this longer down to right here, which makes sense because if you look at this point right here, it is most likely going to bounce off this point and this point. I mean, this is major resistance. You see right here, one, two, three. So this would have been a great exit. I didn't exit here. I exited it up here because there was also resistance here. There was support right here. Uh, we had support resistance this right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and, and then all of this. So. You know, that's how you kind of have to analyze the charts and it's probably going to drop more I'm waiting for this to bounce back up to 238 239 area and then I'll buy more puts most likely so that was that play there were, there were good trades um, what I'm currently in is I have puts on Dell I'll probably never trade this stock again just because it's such a slow mover I, I thought it's gonna drop much quicker than, exp than what it's doing right now. It's very slow and it's hanging up high, so I'm not sure what's going to happen with this trade. I do have a lot of time to be right. Um, I want to get out around this point or maybe around 56 area right here. I'm most likely going to hold to 56 area, but it just depends. I might want out sooner. So that's one stock I'm currently holding. And then I got in Run, Sun Run. This stock just. Uh, made a big move from the 20s nearly doubled in, in a matter of uh, a few weeks so um, I bought puts on this and I'm anticipating it dropping and I'd like to get out around $35 so that should be a pretty good game and I have time to be right so I also placed a trade today in space Vir Virgin Galactic Holdings and I bought the put contracts which means I make money when the stock goes down I bought them 
around right here, 27. And then today it made a huge drop and I was up maybe 300 bucks. But I'm going to wait for a little bit. I want to get out around this area, $22. Um, so that's the plan on this. This is a great trade. And as you could tell, also, it's probably in anticipation of earnings play because they have earnings coming up. So I made sure that my expiration date is past the earnings date just so it gives me more time to be right. And so um, so that's that trade. I'm hoping to get out around 21, 22 area. Let's see what else I'm currently in. I have puts on the SPY, the SPIDER. I entered my put position around 326 and made a nice drop. So I was up almost in instantly. But I want to get out around 319 area or 315 area. 315 area would be a really nice trade. I think it could get there pretty soon. Um, I have time to be right. I have until, you know, around 820, 821. So almost a month to be right. Next stock is VXRT. All right, look at this one. So I made a nice move from 8 to 20. And I puts on it. I bought puts probably around 16 area. And now it's at 13. So I'll probably exit around 1260 area right here. Because it could most likely bounce. I just want it to break down past this tip point. Past this tip. I want it to break down past this. And then it's going to have a nice move back down. It's going to fall all the way back down most likely to this area. So 1260s. 1250 area. And then... Uh, my last position that I'm in is I am short futures, specifically corn. So let's pull up the chart right here. VC, corn futures, made a nice move up, but for a lot of reasons, I'm short bearish uh, long term. So I bought December, this upcoming December puts on ZC, corn. And I think uh, I bought two, I think 290 strike on corn. Um, it probably won't get there, but it really doesn't matter. You can still profit in a big way without it actually reaching your strike price. So I'm anticipating it to go below this point right here, three 330 area. And uh, probably I'll probably end up maybe getting out 315 area. So we'll see in the next couple of months. I have a couple of months for this position. Um, but I'm bearish, long-term bearish. So these are my current positions as of now. Just wanted to fill you guys in on my thoughts and uh, my most recent trades. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Please like, comment, subscribe if you got value from this video. Let me know if I should make any other videos covering any other topics that you guys would want. Thanks so much.